you tired of paying full price and waiting for sales on your games? Well, let me introduce you to Instant Gaming, where seriously, that is no longer an issue. Massive discounts on all your games. Make sure you click on the link in the description and get that checked out ASAP. Do it now. Welcome back. Big of a quick update. We've got a new battleship fleet forming in New York. They're four months away. Lots of DDs of the new chili boats ready to go just to meet the battleship escort. We've got all of the old fleet, which consists of the North Carolinas, floating around here to attempt to naval invade this area. We also have the brand new fleet, which has taken damage after smashing a large, and I mean a large French fleet. And I'm hoping that we can do that again. But we need to get these guys home and repaired and all that good stuff now then everyone's going to be happy but the thing is the problem is that the army is letting us down so our previous conquests in spain for example they're coming in and doing us over and they're buddy buddy with the soviets and the japanese which i didn't quite realize and our army has been disintegrated essentially when we pieced out so we don't really have any forces anymore and they're coming in over here and over here and that ain't great so there is the possibility that we're actually going to lose this entire region which is not ideal but we're gonna carry on regardless the british are smashing the french at the same time but what my plan is is to if we were to lose this then we're going to take over the other areas all the land areas we're going to grab them because this can't go on so it'll be africa they've got stuff over here i don't want to lose my chinese stuff now we're going to have to enable invade them down there now invading the mainland of france is probably a little bit of go no go until we have more troop uh, more shippage but we might do it we might do it so we might end up focusing over here regardless but we've got this fleet floating about down here. We're going to get them all up here and see if we can do a naval invasion. And that includes the brand new fleet, which, to be honest, I could actually stick in La Spezia, to be completely honest. That might be a good idea. Saves them running around for three days. And then they could repair there and be floating around. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We've got our battle cruisers floating around. This one has taken no damage, thankfully. Well, that's a thought. I need to go live. But yes, uh, they are floating around. They do chaos to the enemy. It's rather lovely. Now we've got another one somewhere that is repairing. Somewhere. There it is. It's in there. Damage 32%. It's repairing. It'll be fine. We just need more ships to be complete. We need the big boats coming in. And then we can start hammering France. If we could take parts of the mainland France, for example, then you know, the, the money that is there is ridiculous. It's worth all of these territories. If I can take that, then we can start thinking about smashing them in other areas. But still, we've got good financial status now, relatively. Uh, GDP of France and Britain is still ridiculously through the roof, especially France. So France needs to be taken down. To be completely honest, we need more naval shipbuilding capacity. That's going to get hampered when that fleet is starts repairing, but it is what it is. But it's all good. We get in there. We get in there. It's very sketchy at the moment, so I'm just going to have a quick get at the research. We're potentially doing more hull strengthening cruisers. Uh, torpedo propulsion is a big thing for me at the minute. The French seem to have lots of it. And underwater acoustics, I'm thinking hydrophones to help protect us more against those, um, what they're called, um, de, de, blah, blah, blah. torpedoes, there we go, there we go, we'll bash that on a little bit more, and maybe hull protection, oh, that's a thought, actually, that is a jolly good thought, I invented new explosives and things. So we'll just have to see how we get on. We'll uh, we'll end the turn and see what happens, shall we? Apparently, oil has been located in Ukraine and Soviet Union on that. 
Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to see if we can try and get them to peace out with us. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Transports are being hit. Never mind. And here is a, another fleet clash. And this is the North Carolinas. Okay, that's going to be rather juicy then. We've got 12 of the Hornet class and 4 of the North Carolinas against a battleship. S uh, many armoured cruisers. Lots of light cruisers and lots of destroyers. Now, I don't know what the training is. Oh, they're only trained. See, that's another thing that's hampered the fleet. Because we're at peace for a while, they've all gone a bit squishy in terms of crew training. So, now this is going to be quite interesting, actually. This should be good. So, let's get sunk in, shall we? That's going to be marvellous. Don't know what their battleship consists of. It might be the one that we faced with the other fleet. Uh, the new fleet. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Preparing for battle. Oh, it's not, thankfully. Wonderful. Right, so that is what we're facing against. Lots of destroyers. So it's a good job that we have destroyers of our own. I'm just going to have to probably sort out... Oh, the weather's crap. Probably just going to have to sort out exactly what is going on here. Because that ain't right. So we've got them three. And then that one is in follow. We'll stick them together. And these are all in screens. I'm going to have to have three lots of three. That's the way I like to do them. And they are all going to be on screen. For some reason, the game is not happy. But I think we're okay. There, there is a patch coming out, actually. Uh, see how you, you click one of these and the frame rate drops for a second? That shouldn't be a thing. And lots of stability and stuff. The game actually struggles with using all the bits of your system, which is a little bit of annoyance, and no matter how good your system is, it does tend to struggle. So they're going to organise themselves a little bit. Uh, they're to the northeast and they are far away. So that works quite well, to be completely honest. We don't want to be running out of fuel. The weather is crap. Now we will turn torpedoes. I'd leave the torpedoes on save for the time being on everybody. So they do have freedom to use them. I don't want them in a breast. I want them in a line. There we go. And the torpedoes on these can also be on save. And the main guns, I'm going to put them on... Uh, oh, I don't know yet. We'll put them on normal. I just don't want to run out of ammunition, to be completely honest. They're going to just do their thing for a little while. Close the distance. They should be engaging. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. Alrighty, so because of the distance, sorry, the weather, spotting them is going to be incredibly difficult. Thankfully, we've got screens. We're not going to be able to take advantage of the huge range that we have on these ships. Oh, somebody asked me to... Northeast, yeah, we're still good. Uh, change one of the... Oh, yeah, we, we must be really close. Right, we're going to turn hard right. And hopefully we can then engage with all of our guns. Now, the enemy hasn't been spotted, so the uh, screening fleet will not react. But they're just going to get into position. They're all going to swing around at 3,000 miles an hour. But, yeah, somebody wanted one of the Nevada class to be changed to the um, Texas I think it was can't quite remember who that was, it was in one of the comments if I remember I'll do it in a bit but where's the enemy, they must be close they must be close I'm glad we do have a screening fleet to be completely honest now if they're coming from the north oh now they're from the north, yeah but there's quite a few of them so we're probably going to be skirting around them a little bit. Some of them have been spotted. New Mexico and so on. Ohio, New Mexico. So they've spotted some of these. But we haven't spotted them. 
Now this is the older fleet, remember. Still very capable. But the weather's naff. Uh, we can head more eastward now, maybe. I just want the guns to be able to bear down on the enemy. They're all going to swivel around. They won't be able to get close. We can turn the torpedo avoidance on. But they might go a bit skitty, so we'll just uh, leave it for now. If they do launch torpedoes on this, there's no that we, way that we can possibly see them. Oh, hey up, hey up, hey up. Gunfire, that direction. That's where they are. Alright, if I head... If they're just over there, if I head it around northeast again... Ah, we've spotted... That is one of their battleships, I think. I think we've began to squirt at them. Yeah, we have. Oh, we have. Oh, goody. So these are going to be testing shots. And I'm hoping... After a few hits, they're only 10 kilometers away, so we should be able to hit them quite nicely. The weather certainly doesn't help, though. So they're going to be wriggling around. Yeah, that is increasing. I'm not too scared of their guns and themselves. Oh, there's another one there. What's that? Oh, maybe these are the armoured cruisers then. The engagement has definitely opened up now. What are you? You might be another armoured cruiser. Oh, the armoured cruisers look quite nasty then, actually. They've got lots of smaller guns on them. And if we are here, screening fleet looks like it's getting a little bit closer, which is nice. What is that one? That's a destroyer. Okay. Only two guns, but they've got plenty of torpedoes on there. I might need to start manually doing these, to be completely honest. Because they're all trying to go for that right now. And we don't want the big guns going for them. Well, the big guns going for these. Well, Louisiana's at the front. If we could do the main guns on that one, please. You can have a go at that one with your main guns. You can have a go at that one with your main guns. And the other one we can just leave to do what they want with. Now, accuracy is definitely increasing. Run up to about 10%. But again, though, the weather doesn't help. Where are we looking? Yeah, okay, so the screening fleet is now backing off a bit because those are there, so we need to increase the distance. Just so that their screening fleets can't get in and cause absolute madness. Bit hard to see what's going on, but there's lots of squirting going on. Now they had plenty of these. But my main threat, I believe, is the screening fleet. Oh, good. Solid hit. Oh, they didn't like that. That was one shell. That's a lot of flooding. That's a large hole. And we can now finally see what they're made of. Yeah, the guns aren't really a problem. To be completely honest. So that's now going to go to the back of that formation. Oh, that was a big hit. Yeah, they can't stand up to the North Carolina. That's good news. Don't know where their battleship is yet, though. So see how... Our screening fleet is lingered back. If we increase the distance, they then fill that gap again. Because they do not want to get caught between 
the battleships and the well yeah between the battleships essentially the big guns they don't want to get caught between so they hang, hang back so if you increase the distance again they'll fill that gap protecting your battleships a bit better this thing really did not like that that's not having a good day by any means but it's still seaworthy for now big guns coming in you're still targeting that I don't know what you are blowing up but they're looking like they're diverting a smidge what I can do is have the first two ships hitting that first one and the back two prodding them a little bit now there's potentially no, that's the destroyer again. We'll leave that to it. Oh, torpedo detonation! Oh, it's only a little... Oh, thank God for that. I thought we were going to be in a bit of a shambles then. We must have hit the torpedo section. It's all good. It's all good. Now, you see, the destroyers are now coming back. So if we level this out, we can hopefully get some good hits in. I would very much like the weather to clear up. That would be rather fantastic. Still at it. Just waiting for some decisive hits. Because it's coming. Ooh, big one. On that ship as well. I won't be happy about that. Because they're in a formation, this ship will actually slow these down. As they maintain formation, making the rest of them easier to murder. It's still shooting now. Still got all of their other ships to deal with. Something is squirting at me from over here. I don't quite know what that is, but when as soon as the weather clears up, I reckon we'll uh, see most of them. Yeah, see that distance has increased, so they're all trying to do their thing. Well, 6.4 inch guns are not going to do much of anything against us. That one's that, that destroyer's on low fuel. Oh, that is nice. Let's try to speed things up a little bit. There you go, that's been hit. What direction are we going in? We're still pretty much alongside. The destroyer's lingering. A really good area to go in. Officers have been murdered in the conning tower on this thing. Ah, oh, yes. Good hits. Good hits. Probably going to go to the back of the formation now. That one at the back is struggling. Yeah, they're going to the back of the formation now. Taking a few little blasts on oh, while wow, it's doing it. Oh, that was a good one. More hits. Nice. This one looks like it might be coming in for a little bit more of a gander. 
fires are beginning to be formed on the ship. So what I will do is I'll do it again. The front two can blap that while the back two can hit these. Let's see what happens there. I do hope the weather clears up. Being shut out from over here now. That might be the battleship. There's ships everywhere. You can see bits of smoke like there from destroyers and things. There's lots of ships over there. Don't actually quite know where they all are. Many fires are being formed on this thing now. That must be. There's good. Oh yeah, there's just there's loads of ships here. Loads of ships. So their fleet is mostly hidden. Our fleet is all here, just squirting at them quite happily. Because I don't want these getting away. They shouldn't do. We just need to score a few solid hits on this. Like that. Oh, that was a big one. We missed it. But that's causing more flooding. Many fires on the refuge now. That might even burn, to be completely honest. Solid hits. Took a while, but we got there. That is not having a good day anymore. The fire is real. Oh, that might be going down. Look how. Oh, wait. Is it? Is it? Oh, it's not far off. It ain't bad. What I might do is just come about. Come back about that way. That should give us enough to maneuver around and finish these three armored cruisers off. And the destroyers can then swoop around and do a little bit of a sweep to be completely honest. Don't want them running away like that. Well, wherever they're going. This ship is not having a good day. That is gone. That is gone. Alright, alright. Well, I'm going to tell them to put the main guns on save ammunition. What is that? Another armored cruiser. Okay. Now I can send them all to target their own things again. But the stuff over there that appears to be closing in. So turning the battleships around when I did is probably a good idea. And if we go this way in general, that battle cruiser is probably going to get targeted. Over here, we're looking like. Oh, that's a destroyer. That's a fat destroyer. A small fleet of destroyers. Got to be mindful of these. Don't know if these are going to be the new ones or anything. No idea, because we've only faced them a few times, but we need to definitely keep going this direction so our screening fleet can do its thing. Which means main cannons. Maybe hit that. I don't know, I might just leave him to it. I think they're doing an okay enough job for the time being. Let's speed things up, see how this progresses. See, we can barely see them now. We need the weather to change so badly. But that armored cruiser is going to disrupt the formation. We can't even see them anymore. Has the weather changed again? It may have done.
There we go, we're shooting at something again. That is the armored cruiser. I don't know where their battleship is. Shooting at someone else now. Oh, they're having to go at the destroyer, apparently. No, I want the main guns on this. Big guns on this. Shift, Alt, right click. There we go. Then the secondaries can do what they want. They'll probably be fighting at them. That's the destroyer's job anyway. They will deal with it. But the destroyers don't like getting near the heavy boats. And if we can get all the big guns on this. We should be good. Come on, weather. Yeah, we're doing all right. If we just keep going that way. That is a glorious sound when they all fire at the same time like that. They all missed! No! Let's just keep going. We've got some destroyers creeping in over there. And our screening fleet is a little bit not in position. Which is a little bit worrisome, so we need to increase the distance. Oh, but that took some damage. The secondaries did that. Oh, wow, that went down like a ton of bricks. Bulkheads, few. Oh, nice. Oh, France. You have not built a good destroyer. I mean, there's lots of armor on them. They're fairly modern because the armor quality. But with few bulkheads, they go down really easily. Oh, there's torpedoes there as well. I thought that was a gun. Don't see what that point of that tiny micro gun at the front is. Didn't even see these little poxy ones, to be completely honest. But yeah, they're full of torpedoes. Need to be very mindful of that. And I don't know what the range is. 4.3. My ours is a bit bigger than that, but I don't know what it is on ours. Oh, 4.4. Okay. So all these ships should have around the same torpedo range. We still want all the big guns firing on that, and they are. Oh, we must have missed a big hit. Yeah, okay. Let's speed things up. Come on, weather. Oh, nice. Oh, something got hit. What was that? The Greaves took a hit. What did you take a hit from? 5.7 inch shell hit the main tower and a little bit of footage. Well, they're still going to be all right. It just means that they're not going to be able to shoot. I'm hoping that they can get rid of that water. They should be able to get rid of that. So now I'm actually going to turn off the main guns on the battleships off because we need to save the ammunition for the bigger boats because they definitely still have plenty. We just need to keep our distance away from these things. It's really hard to see. It's a bit daft on it when it's <laughs> like this. Come on, let's get one hit in. Go on. No, 
No, that one might be having a bit of trouble. It's all right, it's all right. Need the weather to clear up, man. I swing about a little bit more, they might behave. Yeah, having a bit of a crisis meltdown. There's another destroyer floating around, there's plenty of them. Need to be careful. It's the bloody weather. It might change. The battleship's still floating around somewhere. If we had the weather, we could shoot them using our big guns, but I'm not using the ammunition on these, to be completely honest. Another ship spotted, that's another destroyer. What is that? Oh, there's the battleship. Already a little bit damaged, apparently. But we can start the main guns on that. Still prodding them things. Helps them return the main guns on. There we go. Right, that's beginning the destruction of that. Can't quite tell the tonnage of it. I can't quite remember what it is. But it's got to be at least 20,000, right? See, look, there's smoke screens from other ships. For some reason, we just can't hit that. No, don't hit that. Oh, we've lost this ship again. Right, that's what's happening there. Let's turn them off. Found it again? No, there's more destroyers coming in. We tickled our torpedoes there. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, but one might be going down. Oh, yeah, that's one gone. Just going to keep going. Starting to spot a few more of them now. We get the big guns aiming at this thing again. see what we're dealing with though. There's another armored cruiser right there as well actually. Don't know if the weather's clearing up. It might be. I think. Oh yeah, that is definitely another armored cruiser. But because the other one's so far back, we could have two of them aim for this instead. That way they won't get as confused. And what is our current heading? See the destroyers are now on this side more again. Well so that's over there. We've lost the sight of the other one. Keep all the big gunfire on that. Weather's murdering me here. It's 
turn around to the smidge. Come on, weather. You know when the weather's changing because the ships all have a little wiggly dance. For whatever reason that is, I don't quite know. We haven't suffered really any damage. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, flash fire. It might have stopped though. Don't see that very often. That might be. Look at all the bulkheads are only at standard. I don't know, but they managed to stop it, but it's looking like it's going to go down. It might survive it there, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's another compartment flooding. Shell's coming in. Yeah, that might have just done it. Well, that's another armored cruiser gone. Nice. Alrighty. Well, we'll turn them big guns off again. And we're still dealing with destroyers, light cruisers... And their battleship is actually low on fuel, but we've spotted it again. So we're going to start firing at that. The screening is going a little bit mental, but they are behaving mostly. A lot of their fleet is on low fuel currently, which is definitely helping us. And that is one of their light cruisers, which looks like a light cruiser 2 hull. Or maybe a 1, I could be wrong. That destroyer is really close now. I want the secondaries on this thing. Can't be having that. Hopefully it gets murdered. No hits in the battleship. There we go. Flooding. Yes. Only needs a few. they are not designed to take flooding damage apparently it really is going down nice alrighty alrighty well what else we got still got that ship they're still trying to close now uh, battleships I can turn this way a smidge Oh, there's another armored cruiser there. Alright, well, let's uh, shoot that one a bit as well. While the other main. Oh, they've lost sight of them all again. That's irritating. But apparently, we're all going to be squirting at that. Let's keep going. Nice and steady. There's no rush. Come on, weather. Greening fleet is uh, 
debating what to do. Get the big guns opening up on this again. Oh, there's one really close down here. Oh, I'd say really close. It's not actually that bad. Our battleships are still on that kind of a course. If we keep swimming that way a smidge. So hard to hit something. Come on, weather. Oh, you took a few hits. Give you a smoke screen. It's probably because they keep ramming into the battleships, to be completely honest. Because they get giddy and confused half the time. Come on. Try and eliminate that with secondaries. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Plop it, come on. Oh, it blocked those, did it? There we go. That's probably going to go down. Yeah, these destroyers aren't made of very much. That's it. That one's gone. Nice. Ooh. Jean de Varney is being hammered. Blocked. Ooh. What's the armor on this thing? 11.9. That's not very much. That'll be blocking many of the. Um... Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. We're starting to see stuff. Are they jiggling? No, no, no. It's been a little bit giddy. Smoke screens, man. Alright, so. We have these over here, so that's quite far away, actually. So if I just keep swinging around, we can keep the fire on. Don't really want the secondaries going for that thing, to be completely honest. So, what is that? A light cruiser. What about... Here, can we aim this? With the secondaries from the battleships. I don't know if they'll get the angle, but you never know. I don't want to waste any rounds on this thing. Goody. Oh, they might be going down. Especially that one. It's not having a good day. All blocked. No, it's another destroyer down. Secondary's aim at that one. That'll be another one. Battleships are holding up well. They've not really taken anything serious. Ooh, a bit of flooding. That was a 
all the pen. I hit the forward compartment. Nice. Another destroyer gone. Oh, good, good, good. Might be due to the secondaries, so we'll keep squirting at that one now then. Get rid of these things, and that is a huge threat out of the way. Oh, this thing is not liking being flooded. That really is not liking being flooded. Bulkheads, standard. Appears to be creeping in. More flooding. Many ricochets, though. But I ain't recovering very well from that at all, to be completely honest. It's another destroyer done. The fleet is... Oh, wow, yeah, those... Um, destroyers have very much left... The uh, battleship alone. So we need to increase the distance again. And we need to start hitting some of these. Now, what is the armor on these little things? Quite decent, but I'm reckoning secondaries could definitely do some nasty work to that. So we'll see if they can hit that, shall we? Battleship is actually blocking quite a few of them here, so that'll be mostly due to the angle. I mean, ain't having a good day now. There's a destroy it. Blow that up. You can't sustain much more of this. Oh, it's going. It is going. Another French battleship has been destroyed. We've got an armored cruiser down there. Another one over there. Interesting. Interesting. We've got these coming in. Now, our destroyers are probably going to come swooping in now because that battleship is out of the way and the threat is no longer there. So if I go up that course, start blapping... Hey, where's that going? I don't know where that's going, but we can just put them on off on the main ammunition for now. They get the secondaries blapping on that. Let's go, let's go. I don't want them getting close. You never get the big guns, actually, on these light cruisers. See if we could take them out. That'd be good. Yeah, secondaries are tearing that up. Big guns are going to be aiming for that armor there. Oh, nice. That was from the 12.9. I thought you were aiming for that one. Well, that's just been hit. Nice. Oh, this is good. This is good. Let's it. Destroy them another destroyer out of the way. Secondaries again. Aim at that one. Keep this going. Ooh. That ain't having a good day now. More big hits. I think that light cruiser is done. Oh, it is done. Look at the state of that now. It's not having a good day. Still firing, though. But that is gone. Get the main guns hitting on that one, then. 
Oh, no, no, we can't see it. Right, well, where are they then? Because they still have that nuisance of a thing there. And they had got some bits down here that all appear to be coming for us. If I loop back around, that might be good. We'll turn off the main guns for a minute. Destroyers are keeping distance. It's because they're a little bit close. But that has been absolutely hammered. That is going to be gone. We now have this over here, which... We can get them on there. There we go. They're going to start having to dabble. Destroyers are going to go nuts, but it looks like they've already reorganized to a degree. Still can't really see what's going on. Torpedo, no, sorry, torpedo detonation on the battleship, but it's nothing to worry about. That is not having a good day now. It's being hammered on. Don't think they actually have that many ships left. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. I think that has been murdered. Oh, there's a destroyer right there. Oh, torpedoes are in the water. Can we get secondaries on that? That one snuck up on us, didn't it? Oh, we're firing back with torpedoes. That's good. Oh, man. Louisiana might be in the way of that. Try and get them out of the way as best as possible. Torpedoes missed. Another one has been launched. Well, another two has been launched. It's not looking... Great, is it? And I think we're good. I think we're good. We've dodged that. These are looking a little bit more precarious. You need to go on torpedo avoidance. I just heard more torpedoes being fired. I don't know if that's ours or theirs. The Balison is having a meltdown. Louisiana, you go back that way. Oh, big hit, big hit. Oh, that is gone. That is gone. I'm going to turn torpedo avoidance on for a moment for everybody. Because there's several roaming around. Oh, we launched more at it anyway. Okay. And now we can see... I don't like it when there's torpedoes roaming around, but battleships are safe. So that is the main thing. Looks like they've got a bit of a line of armoured cruisers here. A torpedo hit, I heard that. What? Hit that. Oh, the rope got hit. Oh, that'll be fine. They're all good, a bit mental. But no, we're all good. We're all good. So, battle line. Go back up that way, please. We'll speed things up. They're all just having a little bit of a meltdown. let them do what they want for a bit we shall turn off torpedo avoidance again and they should all start regrouping and all that gubbins but it is a little bit of a distance away this is why the weather does not help in a situation like this Not really damaged. We can do with closing the distance a smidge. I'm gonna walk over there. Oh, there's something over here. I thought I saw shells coming from that direction. Yeah, I did. What is that? Oh, it's an armored cruiser. Where did that one come from? All right, well we'll go and blow that up then, shall we? 
going through here. Armored cruiser. There's something else over there as well. Main guns. Aim at that. That would be wonderful. Oh, there's the other one. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, we're going... We can do a hard right and deal with them. That way we can get our rear guns in. The destroyers don't have too much of a meltdown. I say that as they bump into them all. It's all good. It's all good. They're looking like they're just sailing away. If I can get rid of these though, that would be marvellous. I think we may have destroyed all of their... Oh, big hits. They have destroyers. Oh, nasty. That's a little bit burny and a little bit wet. Look at the size of that hole, man. That is ridiculous. Have you dated the graphics? I don't remember it being quite like that. Interesting. Okay. Oh! The engine's damaged on the Louisiana. We took a torpedo hit. Yeah. Oh, they launched some. I didn't even realize. Oh. No matter. Engines have been repaired. It'll probably pump out most of that. And that's going to get out. Well, that's going to be dead in a minute. Needs an extra tickle. Just like that. If I can get rid of that as well, I think there might only be the light cruisers left. What are you doing? Have they actually run out of ammunition? Oh, they have? Well, that ain't good, is it? <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, well. We'll get these going that way. I might be trying to go for a torpedo run. I've got no idea. Maybe I should have put them on save. But it has been more of a long-range engagement. So that does use more ammunition. That might be that. Smidge more. Nearly dead. There's the fleet over there. Get them going this way a bit. There 
There you go, a bit more flooding. How is it still clinging on? Come on, Nebraska. The angle is not helping. Come on. Shoot it. We're nearly out of ammunition on the... Um... Yeah, no time's running out. I want rid of this. For some reason, we just can't hit it. Now I have to send the destroyers in. Oh, there you go. That might have just done it. I oh know it's recovering. Really? Right, let's send some destroyers in. Some of them will be able to get there. Hopefully in time. Probably gonna go nuts now. How can that still be going? Oh, they're all having a meltdown. Oh, it's gone! Finally! Right, well, I think that that is that battle. To be completely honest. Not a bad effort. Still very much a valid ship design. Wonderful. We lost zero ships. Very minimal damage. We sunk 17. That is nasty. Oh, did two get away? I might have been the two from the beginning. I've still had a few light cruisers. Hmm. Uh, if we have a look at accuracy. Oh, there you go. See what's going wrong. And then, uh, for those who are still interested, there you go. Well, that weren't bad, was it? Not bad at all. So if they want to go to peace, I'll accept that. Because we're losing transports and everything. Greece want to order some hornets. Sure. Hmm. Apparently we have 56,000 worth of victory points against the French. Hopefully we can stop this from happening, because that is not looking good by any means. And then down here is also not looking good. It's on this one where we're going to be struggling. I don't want them to take China away from me. I quite like that area for the money gain. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. What would you do in this situation? Let me know. That would be marvellous. You know, so it means we have two fleets now that need repairing. Let's end the turn. Oh, we're going to lose seven transports now, aren't we? Yep. Damn. And we have a interesting one. The enemy ships are damaged from previous battle. We can approach and destroy them. Ooh, lovely. Well, I'm going to leave this to next battle and these are the hornets okay interesting yeah we'll see how this turns out well, thank you very much for watching i'm going to leave this one here i'll see you all in the next one hopefully get yourself some tea have a good time and please press that like button that would be marvelous see you later bye